Today we're going to be taking a look at the extendable Daiwa Crosscast EXT carp rods. And before we jump into this video, please make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up at the bottom of your screen now. But coming up are three main things you need to think about when looking at getting these rods. Convenience. I think one of the main reasons a lot of people have started going towards the smaller rod setups and extendable setups is the convenience aspect. They take up less room, but they can still pack a punch and perform, which we'll get onto in a second, pretty much just as well as a lot of larger rods on the majority of venues in the UK. So convenience, here as you see I've got some of the Crosscast EXTs, the 10 foot, these are 10 foot extendables, and I've got my normal 12 foot setup in their rod bag. Seats are up at the moment, so say you're going on holiday with a family or you've got your seats need to be used as people in there, you still want to take some fishing gear, you try and put your uh, rod bag in there. It's either going to be in people's way, you can't get it in there, you have to flick the seats down take up a seat and that's the only way you can get it in there. I take this back out, you can see I've got one of the rods here made up but packed down at the moment if that makes sense and I can put that in sideways in my boot. So if I put the back seat back up, I can put all three rods in the back of my boot like so and I've still got the use of three back seats. If you're whittling down your gear, taking a little amount, or even you just leave a bit of kit in your uh, boot for the opportune session after work or something, they don't take up much room. You can keep them nice and hidden if you've got a parcel shelf in there or in the back of your van or something. So that's one option. Also, if you've got less room at home, if you've got a smaller shed, small garden, or even no garden at all, you've got a flat or something, an extendable rod that packs down much smaller than a six foot setup like this, takes up a lot less room in your flat. So that's the convenient aspect of it, but you don't cut corners when it comes to the performance, which is what point number two is. Versatility. Now, what do I mean by that? It's pretty much how many venues can you go to with them? How do they cope in various different situations? Now, I took these rods out with me a few days ago onto a local day ticket, and it was absolutely rammed. So it looked like a summer weekend. It was that busy. So I had to tuck away in a little corner, really, really small, intricate little swim where Yes, you could use 12 foot rods, but why would you when you can use smaller rods, which are better suited to the size of swim you're in? Still perfectly adequate for what I was doing. I was fishing sort of margin spots and close to an island, really just lowering in the rods and it uh, felt perfect. I had two bites on that session as well, which was good fun. And unfortunately the first bite I had whilst the camera was on the gimbal. So you got a bit of phone footage for that one. Well, very happy to have a fish. But this one's gone off whilst I was using the gimbal. So, uh, phone footage it is. But they were great fun. I didn't feel overgun because these are actually three and a half pound Tesco. I found that the tip was very forgiving. So that even though they weren't very big fish, I think the biggest one I was probably pushing 10 pounds. So not exactly big fish, but good scrap on a little runs water. And the tip it was quite nice and soft. I'm not really sure if you can see it that well on that camera. But then as you get into the rod, that's when the backbone starts to arrive and you've got a lot of uh, strength behind this rod. So yes, great on smaller venues. I think that's where smaller rods or retractable rods like these come in handy because they break down just so quickly and easily. Take up less room, as I just said. But then you, if you do want to go to a venue that's a bit bigger, I'm on my syndicate now, where you want to give it a bit more of a whack, you can do so because it's got that backbone, it's got that strength, perfect to uh, do. So with me today, I've got the 10 foot, three and a half pound EXT crosscast rod. I've got a three and a half ounce lead on there with a baited rig, with a leadless leader. I have got a shock leader on there because it's down to 12 pound line. And then I've got the 25 Whisker 250, sorry, it's the uh, Whisker 25 QD from Daiwa as well. Beautiful little reels. I'll mention them briefly at the end, but uh, we are focusing on the rods. But as you can see, it's not a huge reel. It's a reel that's suited for the size of this rod. So I'm not going like a massive chunky reel and on a little rod. It's a nice balanced setup. So uh, excuse the tractors in the background. Going to give this rod a few more wax and show you just what it is capable of doing. There we go. Now this is rated on their website to around the 100 mar yard mark, 105 yards, something like that. And I'd say I'm not far off that. I'm not the best caster, but 
I find compressing smaller rods actually easier than a 12 foot. I'm not the strongest of people and I find that I can actually sometimes get more out of a shorter rod because I'm better at compressing them and it's got such a lovely feel to it and you can see on some of the slow-mo shots it's got such a progressive curve to the, to the rod when you're casting as well and as I've said when I'm playing the fish it's nice for giving tip but there's plenty of backbone behind it so yes you can use it on a small venue absolutely fine and you take it to a venue like this and still cast up to about 100 yards so if the fish are showing a bit more range you can still reach them with these rods which I think is a, a massive selling point to extendable rods like these because you don't have to have one set for one sort of venue another set for another you can get one set which takes up less room as I mentioned and can work on pretty much most venues on the UK. If you're stepping up to much bigger reservoirs, of course you're going to be outgunned, uh, well, undergunned, sorry, with uh, a shorter rod because that's just the nature of them. But for this sort of venue, that sort of distance you've just seen, you can cast very well with it. And it feels so nice to do. I'm going to do it again, said the actress. <sighs> Lovely. You can see my form isn't great, I nearly fell over. Prices, everyone's favorite talking point in the comments section, whether you agree with it, you think it's reasonable, you think it's, yeah, okay, I'd pay that, or you're outraged, everyone's got an opinion on it. Just remember, we don't come up with the prices, the companies do, we're just letting you know, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the price of these, because there's three models available. You've got a nine foot, two and three quarter, which comes in at 69.99 RRP, and then there's two 10 foot models. You've got the three pound and the three and a half, which I've got with me today, and they both come in at 74.99 RRP. So I think that's a pretty reasonable price for what you're getting you're getting the Daiwa brand the Daiwa capabilities but not really breaking the bank now I did say I'd mention the reels a lot of you really love the look of these on Instagram when I posted about them and I mentioned them today they balance perfectly with these rods they cast really well they're basically a mini big pit lovely uh, matte finish really sort of little gloss reds around them really smart so just to reiterate these are the whisker 25 QD reels but um this is something that might get you talking a bit more in the price point section because they come at 375 RRP. So they aren't cheap, let's put it that way. But uh, I did say I'd mention them. So there you go, the rods and rails. So these are the Crosscast EXTs. For more information, please do head over to the Dial website for all the specs and things. But I've shown you the cast capabilities, the usability and the prices. Also make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon and follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. But for now, cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.